Hello, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. On September 10, the Polaris Dawn mission launched, which aims to conduct the first ever private spacewalk. The Crew Dragon spacecraft launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with four crew members on board. About 2 minutes and 40 seconds after launch, the Falcon 9's main engines shut down and the first stage separated which then landed on a floating platform in the Atlantic Ocean. The second stage of the Falcon 9 rocket continued to carry the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which separated from it about 12 minutes after the rocket's launch. The crew capsule was placed into an elliptical orbit with a maximum altitude of about 1200 km and a minimum altitude of 190 km from the Earth's surface. Crew Dragon is expected to climb even higher, up to 1,400 km at Apogee. On board the spacecraft are billionaire Jared Isaacman, SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis, physician Anna Menon, and retired US Air Force Colonel Scott Potit. For Jared Isaacman, this is his second flight into space. He has already founded and participated in SpaceX Inspiration4 mission in September 2021. As part of this mission, four crew members spent two days in orbit at an altitude of about 5,085 km, conducting various scientific studies and experiments. The Inspiration4 mission also raises $250 million for the hospital in Memphis. The four crew members of the Polaris Dawn mission are expected to spend five days in space, and on the third day the spacecraft is scheduled to enter orbit at an altitude of 700 km, at which altitude the Polaris Dawn crew will perform the most important part of its mission, the first ever spacewalk as part of a commercial spaceflight. The main purpose of this spacewalk is to test SpaceX's new spacesuit. This spacesuit is visually similar to the black and white SpaceX spacesuit, which is only worn inside the spacecraft. In the new spacesuit for open space, improved design of moving parts, improved thermal regulation, the helmet has a specialized coating for better protection of astronauts' eyes from sunlight. Also integrated into the helmet is a projection display, which will display information about the state of the spacesuit during the spacewalk. After thorough preparation, all four crew members will be wearing their spacesuits. The spacecraft then will be fully depressurized, and Jared Isaacman and Sarah Gillis will have the opportunity to spacewalk for 20 minutes to conduct various spacesuit tests. The Crew Dragon spacecraft does not have an airlock, so some modifications have been made to the interior of the spacecraft. In particular, additional nitrogen and oxygen tanks were installed, and the docking station was replaced with a hatch with a ladder. Astronauts will take turns exiting the Crew Dragon spacecraft to test the functionality and maneuverability of their spacesuits. In total, depressurization of the Polaris Dawn mission spacecraft will last about two hours. The fourth day of the mission is scheduled to test the Starlink Internet Satellite Network. The Polaris Dawn crew will relay information back to Earth via SpaceX Internet Satellite Network. It is expected that six days after liftoff, the Polaris Dawn mission spacecraft will leave orbit to return to Earth.